previously on McFly Angler. I had just arrived to Six Lakes and had a great time. I caught quite a few really nice trout that put my gear to the test. These fish here can pull like no other trout I've ever fished before. However, I still did not get a chance to land a tiger trout, which pretty much was one of my major goals of this trip. No! <laughs> Let's see if we can get one today, which is the last day of fishing this amazing place. Yeah. Nice, man. Thanks for the assist there. Oh. That's 20. Well, good morning, McFly subscribers. I am out by myself. They're fishing, uh, I want to say Teepee Lake. I forgot what they call it. Um, it's by the Teepee Cabins. <clears throat> I came out, I really want to catch tiger trout. So I'm out at Loon Lake where they have tiger trout. It's early. It's, uh, it's like 7.30. I mean, it's not super early. I'm seeing some trout rising down here in Duck Lake, which is right near. So there's Loon. There's Duck right down there. I haven't seen anything rise in Loon. Hopefully I can get a tiger trout. That's, that's the hope. I have never caught one and this might be my chance, so I'm pretty excited. So after fishing the shallows of Loon Lake, I decided to walk around the lake looking for tiger trout. After fishing Loon for a couple hours without a single fish, I decided it was time to head back to Meadow Lake, where I caught the majority of my larger fish the day before. Right over here I saw a trout rising. Decided to throw a dry fly. I'm a little further out than I am. At least the wind's to my back, but there is some wind. The trout were rising all over the place, but I couldn't get a single taker. I decided to walk up to the dam and sight fish for the cruising trout. There were some really nice rainbows, but none seemed to want to take my dry fly. So I switched to a nymph rig setup. All right, there's one coming. It's going towards my flies. Let's see if it sees them. Boy, these big boys are real smart in this lake. Yesterday I had decent luck. Oh, come on. Wow. Just not interested. Could be why. Got a little tangle. Finally, I got a fish. All right, got one on the nymph. I don't know which one. I have two nymphs on there. This one's a little smaller than I'm used to, at least here. Still a good trout. Just not, this is the smallest one I've caught since I've been here. Still a good little fighter though. Oh, tiger trout. Guys, I caught a tiger trout. Yeah. Guys. Oh, 
Calm down, little guy. I'm gonna release ya. Oh, I did already. All right. Look at that. Beautiful tiger trout. Yeah. Woo. Ah, those things are gorgeous, guys. Really pretty. Interesting color patterns. That's great. You know, that's my favorite fish so far that I've caught, and it's the smallest one. Just, I've never caught a tiger trout. They are so pretty, guys, so pretty. That's funny, there's not supposed to be tiger trout in this lake. They didn't stock them in here, but they're all connected, so I guess it, some of them made their way down. Whoa, oh, that was a big fish. Please come this way. All right, guys, so I came over here. Big boy is right here. I mean, I don't know how big, but I just saw one rising and it looks to be a good size. It's right here. Oh, I snapped off. Wow, dang it, dang it. What the? Oh. oh, shoot. Came right up for it, too. Oh. So after fishing Meadow for a while without any more takers, I decided to get in the car and drive around until I found Bob and Alex. Retriever! Boy, sorry guys, you guys missed the jump. That thing jumped nice. I didn't turn on, oh, there we go, woo! He's a jumper. No, get out of the weeds there. Nah, he's, he's 18, 16, uh, 17 or so. Yeah. Oh, well, come on, in the net. He ain't done. Come on, let me get this out for you. Oh, he's not bad. Yeah. Come on. Still spunky. No, you're good. Little guy on the streamer, guys. Nothing big. Calm down. The fish here just never give up. Is this a, it's a tiger. It is a tiger. Guys, two tigers. Look at how beautiful that is. You got such cool markings. So unique. All right, let's get back in the water there, little guy. So 
I just got picked up on the streamer. There we go. Ah. Oh. Brown. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful, beautiful brown. Ooh, oh, you ain't done. All right, buddy, all right. Maybe 18. Oh, look at that beautiful fish. I love the colors, the browns. They're so pretty. Look at that fish. That is, ooh, that's a, that might be 20. There he goes. Fishing slowed down at Eagle Lake. So we headed back to Totem Lake near our cabin and we started catching lots of fish. Can't believe that. Guys, you missed this guy jump. It was a nice jump. Sorry. Not huge, but not too bad. All right. All right, guys. There it goes. Pretty trout. Another one's out there following. I gotta figure out what happened with this net though. There we go. Sorry guys, I tried to press, it was on a different setting. It's a decent little trout. But pretty much fought the whole thing. Without filming. A nice one. Look at the red. Pretty guys. I don't know what kind of species of rainbow has like the red. It's 
probably a cut bow. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's got the red neck. So. so I got a little bored at Totem Lake and decided to explore a little bit more. So this is Cliff Lake. This is the only one I haven't fished so far on this trip. And Bob said it fish is good, but generally slightly smaller fish. Well, that's okay. Caught some nice ones already, so figured I'd give it a shot. I mean, there's actually technically seven lakes. I say it's the only one. There is Island Lake, which has mostly bass, so it's not really fishable right now. It's too cold. This line, I need to stretch it out or something. It's been knotting up a lot. The line is old. It's good line though, made by Rio. But my guess is after a few years of being on my reel, it's gotten a memory to it. Guys, that's a bass. Crazy. Big bass. All right, guys, so got a bass. Nice bass. Well, very nice bass. Look at that. Very, very nice bass. On my little uh, crayfish pat pattern. Uh, there you go, bass. Oh, put that right through my finger. By the way, I sell flies, and this is my own pattern that cannot be found anywhere else. So let me know if any of you want to buy some flies from me. Wow, guys, I've caught so many different kinds of fish now here. This is a good trip. Good, good trip. All right, guys. Got this boy on my crayfish. Oh, uh, net, come on. Calm down. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down. I'll get you. There it goes. Yeah, so I created it. It's like my own pattern. No one has it. Yeah, it works well in bass in Texas. Seems to be killing it here though, man. It's real heavy. So it sinks to the bottom super quick and just kind of bounces with the feelers up, you know? Oh, like I let it hit the bottom and then I little jerk yeah. hit, you know. Just yeah. I gave your dad some, and I got some if you want to try it. More in the shallows though, I think, just because crayfish aren't really 
hanging out like you know yeah Well, Bob got a fish. No! No! no. Damselfly? It came off. Ah. Uh. Well, Bob's got another one on. He says this one's a good one. Oh, ho, ho. I'm hearing it run. Oh, God. Yeah. He's better than 20. You need help? No, I got it. Let me get over there, maybe help him if he needs. Got him? Brought him in? Yeah. yeah, that's a nice one. Real long. You want me to measure it? Is that all? <laughs> Maybe 17, 17. 16 and a half. Oh my gosh, I thought it was bigger than that. That's a nice fish. Yeah, that thing fought you. I mean, that's the thing about Six Lakes. The fish here fight so hard, you'll swear they're much bigger than they really are. Yeah, you got some. Oh, that's the one I tied for you. Yes, it is. Oh, thank you. It's a good one though. I thought that was 20 for sure. No such luck. There it goes. Yes, you tied to me this uh, damsel fly larva. Yeah. And you know what? I hooked him on a throwaway cast. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? Yeah, I came up with that pattern too. This is your pattern. Though. Yeah, I you were asking for one. You I told me the length, for an olive and so I just kind of came up with, with something. Eyes. Yeah. And it, I'll tell you what. Um, put some fish on it. Whoa, he's a good one. This is a pretty one, guys. Might be the biggest one I've caught since I've been here. barely turn this guy. Guys, this is...
Oh, this is big. My goodness, I've never had a tri trout fight this hard. Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Wow. All right, let's let you out. Oh my, guys. Guys, this is. I do. Oh man, that was. That thing fought, man. It was like a tuna. I'm tired. We decided to fish until about seven o'clock and we all got really hungry. We decided to go back to the cabin and eat some food, and then pack up for leaving early in the morning. However, right before dark, we saw fish rising all over the place. I wasn't gonna fish tonight. I was kind of done. We've got a major dry fly bite going on. So I'm walking down, the cabin's up there, you can see it from here. And walking around, they're just hitting the surface everywhere down here this little spot seems to be some of the best I mean I'm just seeing them come up and grab midges so I got a little little midge type thing on here hi on the dry fly guys uh, more like a clanking hammer. Now this is a three weight, so these fish like to fight. So this is gonna be sure fun. Oh, oh. Come on. I just want to release you. Huh. Oh, come on. There we go. 
pretty. Oh. Wasn't gonna come down. That is the beauty of a trout. All right, let's get him back in the water here. There he goes. Right on the dry, guys. Amazing. Now, I don't think I had it filmed, the hook set. I can't remember, but I don't think so. This little guy, it's like a midge parachute type thing. That was really cool, guys. One last fish before the day is up. Let's see, maybe I can get a second, another. Well, I did not get another fish, but it really didn't matter. I had such an amazing time at Six Lakes, fishing with Bob and Alex. I caught some of the best fighting trout I've ever Whoa. caught, and lots of them. Best of all, I ended up catching one of my bucket list fish, a tiger trout. I hadn't ever caught one before, and I am so grateful to finally be able to bring one into my net. So all the gear I fished today was made by Risen Fly. They do sponsor me and my videos. However, that is not the reason why I fish with them. I actually was the one that contacted them for sponsorship because I love their gear so much. The rods and reels are excellent quality and at a very reasonable price. For instance, the dry fly rod I was fishing was only $99, but it fishes like a rod two to three times the money. Best of all, I was able to negotiate a discount for all of my subscribers. Go to www.risenfly.com and you can use my discount for your first order by typing in McFly at checkout. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that like button. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. Back of the San Juan, finishing up my absolutely amazing trip. Check back next week for the final day of this amazing trip, fishing the San Juan River. I was able to catch one of the largest trout I've ever caught on that river. You can't budge this guy, guys. And many more fish. Yeah. It was a great ending to one of the best fishing trips I've ever had. There he goes.